Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the Radiology Coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. Radiologic technologists are found in virtually every hospital in the country and around the world. Their specialties are found within the radiology departments and they frequent every corner of the hospital, caring for patients on every floor. Although most patients require x-ray studies or diagnostic examinations, the radiology department is often relegated as a gypsy-like entity that isn't an integral part of medical teams. It's not that the profession isn't respected, it's that both the public and most hospital workers don't understand the sacrifices and training that RTs must go through in order to execute their jobs. Here are eight things you didn't know about radiology techs. Number one. Radiology school is very much like nursing school. Because of the technological backdrop of medical imaging, outsiders tend to be surprised when they find out that patient care is a big part of every radiology training program. In their course of study, techs are trained in patient care, sterile techniques, contrast injections, anatomy and physiology, biology, medical terminology, medical documentation, diseases and pathology, and more. Techs are trained to manage and maintain IV lines, catheters, tubes, and oxygen. They are skilled in transferring patients and assisting them with ambulation. Additionally, the program is a combination of classroom and clinical training that lasts for an average of 24 continuous months. Number two, radiology schools try to keep their attrition rates below 25%. Because of the challenging curriculum, the clinical demands, and the financial obligations, it is not uncommon for several students to drop out of x-ray programs. It isn't that these programs are terribly difficult, but they are demanding and require commitment. Medical imaging schools across the country are continually implementing strategies to minimize attrition rates. Number three, the national mean hourly wage is $29 per hour. According to the U.S. Department of Labor and Statistics, radiologic technologists command an income of $60,000 annually, or $29 per hour. Of course, how much a medical imaging specialist makes is determined by their location, specialty, and experience. This has a significantly positive outlook because of the rapid advancements in the field. Number four, many technologists specialize in advanced modalities. Although student techs rotate through the various modalities in their programs, they must complete advanced training, additional clinical hours, and pass specialization boards to get certified in advanced modalities, such as CT and MRI. Other specializations include nuclear medicine, ultrasound, mammography, and interventional radiography. Number five, techs must complete 12 hours of continuing education each year. In order to maintain their status as a registered radiologic technologist, specialists must take a total of 12 hours of continuing education each year. This is monitored on a biannual basis. There are a variety of methods to achieve this that include college courses, seminars, textual readings, and online courses. All of the material required has to be pre-approved through the American Society of Radiologic Technologists. The material must be relevant to the radiology scope and reflect advancements in knowledge. Number six, radiology techs rate very high in their knowledge of anatomy. As part of their daily work, techs are continually exposed to anatomy by virtue of film evaluation and procedures. Whether they are following peristalsis studies under C-arms, engaging in orthopedic surgeries, or scanning chronic patients, medical imaging professionals are always active in anatomical evaluations. Number seven, radiology personnel are responsible for millions of dollars worth of equipment. X-ray departments aren't cheap. The modalities in many hospitals range from 40,000 to 4 million. In the background of many departments lurks highly sophisticated archiving software, management software, and large equipment that often has to be brought in by a crane. Radiology buildouts require teams of specialists to assure the safety of all when implementing new projects. Medical imaging is at the forefront of scientific developments. Each year, new advances are introduced and medical facilities are scrambling to keep up. Along with those new advancements is the demand for employees who have the background and skill sets to adapt. 
Not surprisingly, it falls squarely on the shoulders of registered radiologic technologists. Number eight, radiologic technologists do not like being referred to as x-ray technicians. This final point may seem trivial, but it has significant implications. Some nurses simply desire to be referred to as RNs. Why? Because there are others in the field that are referred to as nurses, but haven't completed the training of an RN. In the same way, there are many states where a simple short course will allow individuals to administer x-rays. These medical workers will often refer to themselves as x-ray techs, thus diminishing the accomplishments and training of the radiology professionals. So it is more appropriate to refer to the trained and registered techs as radiologic technologists, radiology techs, or simply RTs. Honor these trained professionals. They, like other medical specialists, are on the front lines daily, sacrificing for the safety and care of our citizens. That concludes our segment on eight things you didn't know about radiology tax. If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner and I'm the radiology coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.